French pronunciation. French can seem like a tricky language to pronounce for non-native speakers, for two reasons. Firstly, the pronunciation and the spelling do not often match, and secondly, some sounds do not exist in English. First, you should familiarize yourself with the International Phonetic Alphabet. This alphabet represents the sound of any spoken language, and knowing it will allow you to understand how to pronounce French words, for instance, looking them up in a dictionary. Let's talk about French pronunciation difficulties in more detail. Many letters are silent in French, which means that they are written but not pronounced, notably the final E, the plural S, verbal endings, and many consonants. Silent letters do not often make sense. For instance, C and T are silent in respect, but P and T are pronounced in concept. Not only are some letters not pronounced, but others are not pronounced like their written form. For instance, the word oiseau. You often need to pronounce final consonants that are normally silent when they are placed just before a vowel or a silent H. This is called the liaison. For instance, des amis, sont-ils? This may imply an elision, that is the omission of a vowel. For instance, the articles le and la become an apostrophe. For instance, l'île, l'hôtel. The letter H is never really pronounced in French when used alone, but it can either act as a vowel or a consonant. When it acts as a vowel, you need to do the liaison or the elision. For instance, un hôtel, l'hôtel. When H acts as a consonant, you do not do the liaison or the elision. For instance, un hérisson, le hérisson. In French, the stressed syllable is always the final pronounced syllable. For example, the stressed syllable in le copain is pain. The stressed syllable in la copine is pin, because the final e is silent. The end of a sentence is pronounced at a lower pitch when it is a statement. For instance, je vais très bien, whereas it is pronounced at a higher pitch for questions. For instance, tu vas bien? The sound r does not exist in English. It is a raspy sound that comes from the back of the throat. For instance, radio, voiture. Imagine that you are gargling, but without water. If your throat hurts at first, it's perfectly normal. Let's talk about the vowels now. There are 16 vowels in French. Some exist in English as well. Some do not. Follow them on the image. Let's start with the palatal or anterior vowels. The tip of the tongue touches the front of the palate. You pronounce them by stretching the lips. Open your mouth progressively. I, E, E, A. Italy, éléphant, être, allemand. Then we have the vela or posterior vowels. The tip of the tongue touches the back of the mouth. You pronounce them by rounding the lips. Open your mouth progressively. U, O, O, A. Outil, automne, océan, pad. Next, we have the palatal rounded vowels. They come from the front of the palate, but you round your lips. Open your mouth progressively. U, E, E. Une, heureux, cœur. Afterwards, we have the nasal vowels. These sounds do not exist in English and are very characteristic of French pronunciation. You need to push the air through your nose. Un corresponds to E. Pain. En corresponds to A. France. Un corresponds to E. Bon. And un corresponds to U. Parfum. Finally, we have the silent E. The name is misleading because this letter may be pronounced. It is quite close to the sound E, but with the tip of the tongue at the center of the palate. E. For instance, le chat. Bonne prononciation. Au revoir. Created using Powtoon.